Hi, my name is Danish House, and I'm the senior pastor of New Beginnings Church in Poughkeepsie, New York. This is the August 2014 Progress Report video, designed to give you a sense of what's been going on in the last couple of months here at the church, and also of what's coming up in the near future. Thank you so much for being part of New Beginnings Church's ministries. Whatever your involvement, thanks for being part of the New Beginnings family. We could not do the ministry that we're doing without your help. In the last couple of months, some great things have been happening here at New Beginnings Church. We welcomed Maggie Carrington as a member of our church. We baptized Evelyn House. And we dedicated to the Lord Armani Hernandez and Caleb Oakley. And finally, we welcomed into this world Dominic Trapani, who was born just very recently. As for me, I've been preaching from 1 Peter on Sunday mornings, and I've been really enjoying it. It's a book that helps Christians know how to live as Christians in the midst of a hostile culture. On Sunday evenings, I've been leading a Bible study in the book of Acts, which it turns out is also about helping Christians to learn how to live in the midst of a hostile culture. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope you've been enjoying it. One of the things we've been trying out on Sunday mornings is this text message feature. As you listen to the sermon, if you have questions or comments, you're able to send text messages that I will then read and engage with at the end of the sermon. How have you liked that? Has that been helpful to you? Our hope was that it would help you to engage with the scriptures and engage with the sermon at a new level. If you're watching this video on Facebook or on YouTube, let us know in the comments down below how you like the text messaging feature on Sunday mornings. Has it been helpful to you? Let us know. We had a special need that came up. We needed about $9,000 in order to do two things. One, to fix the air conditioning in the gymnasium, and second, to install an escape window in one of the bedrooms in the parsonage. And you really came through. We asked for $9,000 in order to do this job, but you gave $10,307 so far. <laughs> Thank you so much. This work is going to be able to be done now quickly and well. Our youth have had a great couple of months. Many of our youth went to Delta Lake Bible Conference Center, both as campers and as counselors, and had a great time together and with the Lord. Pastor Gary was invited to teach an entire week of services at Delta Lake and did a fantastic job. He also took some of our youth to Darien Lake for the Kingdom Bound event, which was filled with a lot of great concerts and great Bible teaching. And our youth came back from that to be involved with Vacation Bible School, which was quite a, a fun time. We had over 65 guests here at the church, both kids and adults, studying the scriptures, having a great time together. Our staff did a fantastic job pulling that wonderful event together. Thank you so much. As I shoot this video, our India team is ready to return. I think it's tomorrow evening. And we're looking forward to hearing what God did through them as they were serving in India. Starting at the end of September, we've got an experiment that we're going to try here at New Beginnings Church. We want to try something new. We've been listening to people talk about some things that are going really well at the church and some things that could be improved. And one of the areas that's singled out for constant improvement is the area of Sunday school. We have great, dedicated teachers who are doing a fantastic job, and we seem to be serving older adults and teenagers quite well. But we're not really serving younger adults or children very well with our Sunday school. They don't seem to be coming. So our mission as a church is to be mission-minded, Christ-centered, family-friendly disciples of Jesus Christ. But we feel like we can do a better job of helping people to grow as disciples. I've been working with the children's ministry leaders and with the input of the elder board and the ministry team leaders. We've put together an idea to try something different with Sunday school. Instead of inviting people to stay, to come earlier for Sunday school and to be involved in a class that's not really connected with the material that we're doing on Sunday morning, we want to encourage you to stay after church for uh, a time of, of refreshments, a time of celebration of significant milestones in people's lives, and for cool discussions around tables about the things that we learned in that morning service. And specifically, how can we apply what God was saying to us in the Sunday morning sermon to our daily lives? 
Our sister church, Rome Alliance Church, has been using this format for many years, and it's been tr a tremendous success there. We think it's going to be a lot of fun to do here as well. And we hope that this format will help adults, teens, and kids to engage with the scriptures and to become doers of God's word, not just hearers of it. Now, there's a lot of details we still have to work out. We haven't figured out a name yet, for one thing. Uh, we brainstormed as a leadership team. We came up with five ideas. Uh, after program was one of them. Discipleship Training Ac Academy, Zeroing In, After 90, and Table Talk. Those were the five names we came up with. But frankly, we're not really in love with any of them. If you really like one of those names, or if you've got a better idea, talk to an elder or a ministry team leader, or put it in the comments under this video. We'll be happy to hear it, and maybe you'll come up with the best name. Who knows? Hey, good things have been happening here at uh, New Beginnings Church, and great things are in store. Thank you for being part of the ministry of New Beginnings Church. God bless you.